हेलो माय डियर एस्पिरेंट्स टुडेज वीडियो इज अगेन ऑन परसेंटेज ओवर रन यू मस्ट बी थिंकिंग व्हाई परसेंटेज ओवर रन बिकॉज ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक आई हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड अ वीडियो बट इन दैट टॉपिक इन दैट वीडियो एक्चुअली बेस्ड ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक परसेंटेज ओवर रन आई हैव डिस्कस्ड वन फॉर्मूला बेस्ड ऑन दैट फॉर्मूला ऑब्वियसली यू कैन सॉल्व न्यूमरिकल बट देर इज वन मोर फॉर्मूला रिलेटेड टू परसेंटेज ओवर रन इन दैट पर्टिकुलर वीडियो आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड वॉट इज परसेंटेज ओवर रन नाउ एज यू ऑलरेडी नो दैट इट इज रिलेटेड टू आइसक्रीम how it is related to ice cream it is related to the volume of ice cream and it is related to the volume of mix that we are using to produce the ice cream so it is related to volume of ice cream and it is related to the mix that we are using to produce the ice cream and based on these two we will be calculating percentage overrun i'll not be discussing in detail what is percentage overrun as in the previous video i have already uploaded that why i am uh, why i am discussing percentage overrun in this video because there is one more formula based on which a numerical came in the year 2019 in gate exam to solve that numerical you need that another formula so let me first tell you about that formula now what does the formula says the formula says that percentage overrun is equal to the weight of unit volume of mix this is one part minus the weight of unit volume of ice cream that means the ice cream which we are finally getting the volume of that ice cream and the volume of the mix that we are using but here look at the unit here we are considering in terms of weight that means the unit should be in grams or kg like that divided by here we have weight of unit volume of ice cream and this whole formula into 100 why into 100 because we are calculating percentage so this is the entire formula now let me uh, just discuss the question that came in the year 2019 in gate exam when i'll discuss the question you will understand the formula first let me tell you about the question the question said an ice cream mix of 870 grams per liter has been used to prepare ice cream which yielded a finished product of 490 grams per liter b percent overrun is dash round off to one decimal place now look at the question the question says an ice cream mix of 870 grams per liter that means look at this formula here it was said weight of unit volume of mix 
So weight of unit volume of mix is 870 grams because it has been said weight. So here the unit is in grams has been used to prepare ice cream which yielded a finished product of 490 grams. That means the final weight of the ice cream that we got is 490 grams. That is this one weight of unit volume of ice cream. Now the percent overrun is dash. We have to calculate the percentage overrun. Now as you can see here dash is given. That means you need to calculate the answer and you need to put the answer here. You will not be provided with option. That means this is numerical answer type question NAT. So here there will not be any negative marking. So as there is no negative marking you can easily solve the question and give the answer and be sure that if your answer is correct you will be getting full marks. Next important thing is here it has been said round off to one decimal place that means after decimal you will consider single digit only. Be careful about these sentences in gate exam and you should try to answer NAT type questions because there is no negative marking in those questions. Now when we calculate the answer what is percentage overrun this is equal to first is the weight of unit volume of mix that is 870 minus the weight of unit volume of ice cream that is 490 divided by the weight of unit volume of ice cream that is 490 into 100. When you will solve this question you will be getting your answer as 77.55%. So just round it off to one digit decimal place that is 77.6%. So look at the question and look at the answer. It is very simple. Just a single line formula you have to remember and you will be getting two marks for solving this question or one mark depending on uh, the uh, place where the question has been allotted. So as you all know gate exam is very close it's in the month of February so buck up yourself and go through each and every topic revise each and every topic practice more and more questions. Now after this percentage over and discussion I must say some points which I have been getting as doubts from very uh, uh, from the aspirants which is very important. One question is if they can appear for the gate exam or not uh, if they have BSc degree. So the answer is obviously you can appear if you have four years degree on food technology then you can appear for your gate exam. Uh, that is the answer. You can appear in XC group. You can appear in Excel group. The another doubt which everyone has that is XC and Excel group. Uh, these two groups are different uh, but uh, whether the food technology syllabus is different or not. No, the food technology syllabus is not different. Food technology syllabus for both XE and Excel group is same. So whichever video I am uploading uh, is useful is useful for both XE and Excel group. You can practice from these videos and if you have any question where you are getting stuck while practicing the numericals, please post those questions and if you like these videos, please uh, like it, subscribe the channel and share it. Keep practicing. Thank you.